Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this edition of Video Adrenaline for After Effects in Photoshop. Today, we're going to explore retiming footage and how you can convert frame rates easily using advanced controls inside of After Effects. Here's how. For this particular shoot, I have some footage that is 24p. It was shot on a digital SLR camera, and I need to get this converted from 24p to 2997 for broadcast. Well, fortunately, After Effects makes this easy with advanced frame blending. Let's take a look. What I do is drop this into a composition, and then go to my composition settings. And we want to change the frame rate. When we do that, notice the duration does not change, but the frame rate has. And we can click OK. Now, After Effects will attempt to fill in those additional frames for you. And there's three ways it can do that. You could use the really fast way, where it simply duplicates the frames and repeats them. And that looks stuttery. You can go ahead and actually blend them, where it overlaps multiple frames together and it looks blurry. Or you could take the sweet time and use the advanced frame blending, the pixel blending. And this works in most cases. The key gotcha being really fast motion or things like flash photography can kind of screw it up. So typically it's going to be method two or method three, method three being the best when it works for the particular footage. Here's how. So we're in here in the timeline, and what I'm going to do is go back over to switches and modes. And we're going to go ahead and start to deal with our switches. The first thing we do is enable frame blending for the entire composition by turning that on. And let's go into the clip where there's some actual motion that we can measure. There we go, his hands. Let's zoom in a bit here and take a look at that motion. So right now, with no frame blending turned on, as I go forward using the page down key one frame at a time, you're going to see that occasionally frames are repeated and held. And that's just like Telecine process where we're going ahead in repeating frames. And typically you do the pull down removal if you shot this, such as 24p advanced on a tape based solution and pulling it back out. It's the same idea. After Effects is putting frames back in to basically pad out the footage so it goes from 24 frames a second to 30 frames a second, more or less. And as we step through, this time doing page up to go backwards, you see that occasionally frames are held and repeated. That's fine, but it looks a little stuttery. The next method is frame blending. So if we go ahead here and we flip this switch once, what happens here is we have the basic frame blending. And as we step through, you see that it occasionally, instead of repeating frames, dissolves between the frames to create new frames in between. And when there's pretty fast motion, that's fine, but you get a little bit of streaking. Let's just do a quick preview there so you see that at full quality. We'll tell it not to skip any frames and take a look. And it's not bad. Now, what's happening there is the frames are being dissolved on top of each other, which creates a little bit of a motion blur or a ghosting, but this works well and it's fast. However, a method I always recommend trying is the advanced frame blending. So if you click this switch one more time, watch what happens. As we step through the frames now, one frame at a time, every single frame is a whole image. There is no ghosting, there is no blending. After Effects is literally morphing between those frames to create entirely new frames. And so it's gonna create entirely new whole frames. So if we preview that, you're gonna see that that looks nice and smooth and that looks cleaner. In this case, we use this to go from 24p to 2997, but you can also apply the same technique when stretching a clip to make it slower and get a longer clip. Hope you got some new ideas on how you can use advanced frame blending to better your projects. For Creative Cow, my name's Rich Harrington.